Lee fighter. I fight on Fridays, Lee. Do you fight? I fight on Fridays, Lee. I'm I'm actually convinced that I've taken harder shots than you. <laughs> right. Lee, Lee, you know Al Heyman threw his hands up in the air in that first round. When he's seen him get wobbled by a No, I don't think Al did at all. I think Al absolutely expected what he got. It's a tax dodge. Now, Lee, They're all in on it. We'll, we'll see the difference between us, Lee, is that you got punched for nothing. I'm getting punched for something. Yeah, that's that's a fair point. You know, I mean, I mean, God forbid I do it for charity and for nothing. Not like you. You're get, you're you're pretending to be a fighter and getting paid. I mean, it's the best. Co- no, I'm not gonna take anything away. You went to the Olympics. You were a great amateur. You just didn't translate as a professional boxer. You are gonna be as forgotten as Prince Nassim Ahmed. Oh, I mean, and I'll boxing, tell you why. Boxing, I thought this they was took sparring. Off the head here. Hey, this this is sparring. I'm getting paid for sparring. That's it. I'm just a sparring partner that takes off his headgear. I'm surprised you didn't want... Now I can see absolutely why uh, Top Rank and the Bob Father passed on you. You suck. Overrated. Everyone hey. sees it now. Overrated, it, would, it means that he actually... Uh, no offense, Amir. Uh, and again, I appreciate you being on the show. Um, you just suck. Well, you know, I'm going to take a little bit out of, you know, what my uh, buddy from PVC, Kit Chocolate, says. I might suck, but look at my wallet. <laughs> I'm still getting paid. Still getting paid, baby. Hey, and I might be a Houston Rocket That's... because I'm a champion. No, no, no. Hey, hey, look, 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 look. All Al Heyman guys should have T-shirts that say, hey, I'm either getting the shit knocked out of me or I'm not knocking the shit out of anybody, but I'm getting paid. Nope. Well, I mean... Maybe I just want to hug Floyd Mayweather because I do like to hug a lot in the ring, and I noticed that he hugged a lot against Bang Pacquiao. Maybe we could just hug and I get paid millions, and you're mad about that, Lee? No, not at all. Um, no, so, so no, I'm because I am I, I actually have the ability to not watch one of your fights. I, I don't have any problem with turning off your fights. In fact, if they you rubbish. If, if you were up against a rerun of ch- no no this to be honest no, there were no reruns of chopped hey, look, hey I, if if I go beyond Allah and I fight in September you are not going to watch me beat Floyd Mayweather pass you're if, not going to watch no i don't think there's going to be a lot of people not watching that night Amir. sorry to tell you well, I'm not going to wear my trousers this time in the weigh-ins because I heard a lot of people laughing at me. Well, yes, you also have a, an exceptionally, I, I think the term is microphallus. Well, everything is the size of my head, Lee, okay? <laughs> everything. Small feet, small head, and small head. Hey, if the shoe doesn't fit, Lee, in my case. Everybody at Miracon, give them a round of applause. Nice. The, the best guest we've had yet right there with the delusional Manny Pacquiao who didn't have a shoulder injury then magically had a shoulder oh, injury I say something fuck you America I hope you <laughs> get injured and never fight again ah uh, it's just a weak fight it's hey. a weak fight but Lee, Lee no wait seriously. let's talk about this let's be realistic right now back to back right so all the hype and all the all the hoopla Pacquiao Mayweather Pacquiao magically has a bad shoulder all right, all the hype, all the hoopla. You know, Amir Khan is this guy that should be fighting Floyd. I should have been fighting Floyd. I should have always been the guy fighting Floyd. He fights a guy that Manny Pacquiao beat like a redheaded stepchild. With a bad shoulder. By the way, he had the same bad shoulder then, too. One arm. One armed, beat the living shit out of, that, out of Chris Algieri to the point where I thought, well, that's the end of Chris Algieri. So endeth. This, I, you could almost see a Lampley-like ending to that HBO. And that ends the saga of Chris Algieri. A great story about a guy who made a million dollars, right? That's it. End of story. Comes back. Reborn, revitalized, looking fitter than ever. He's a beast. He's a monster. Right? Yeah, but you know, Floyd... Along yeah, comes Floyd. Al Heyman, yeah, opens but... up his wallet, and jacks up another couple okay. of fighters. All right, but, but hear me out here. Don't you think... This puts Floyd back in the doghouse with everybody if he takes this punk-ass fight. No. I mean, I mean, but Amir Khan, 
He's gonna. He's, he's got, got to fight Cotto. He's got to fight Cotto. I can see no viable solution for if Floyd Cotto, Mayweather. If, if Cotto wins on Saturday, it's like I don't want to say Cotto would make out with him, <laughs> but I think Cotto would do just about anything to get that paycheck. If anybody deserves that second shot, it's that guy who proved it in the ring with you on a Saturday night, not Amir Khan. Right, and here's the thing. All basically, and for those that live under a rock, the WBC, or or as HBO likes to keep jamming up our ass, um, the lineal champ, Miguel Cotto, takes on Daniel Gill on Saturday night for the WBC Middleweight Championship, a fight that Cotto just basically has to stay on his feet for 12 rounds to win. He, he's got to, he would have to attempt to lose it. Like, he'd have to become... The worst fight of his life. And don't get me wrong, Cotto's a shot fighter, but I'm pretty convinced that he can get through Daniel Gill. I, I'm pretty confident about that. Because they either want him to fight Triple G or they want him to fight Mayweather. It's one or the other. Canelo. It's going to be Canelo. There's already talks, Lee, that Canelo and Cotto are in negotiations with HBO uh, yeah, for but a Andrew. fall fight. But, but, Andrew, think about this. What if he loses? Uh, which is yeah. an extremely good possibility. Yeah, a, it a, really because is. Because you know what? I hate to go against Cotto, but I promise you this. Do you... Th I have a gut feeling that if for some reason Miguel Cotto fucks up and does not win on Saturday night, do you think it's a possibility that Floyd takes on Gale for the middleweight championship see because he beat the linear Linea lineal lineal linear not linear lineal. lineal he'll take on the lineal middleweight champion I mean it, it's just it's, it's so much out there I just in my mind I can't I, I, I can't envision Khan. I, I just can't it was just like there's no no I mean he's not going to make a lot of money with the Khan anyway might as well try to make history yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't know if if that's he, a. He did it with Ortiz. He had he no it business. With Ortiz, Ortiz was still in the fight of the year with Berto, who was undefeated. Oh, you got to remember, hey, Berto. He might be in the fight of the year with Cotto too, because if Cotto goes, Berto, goes a Berto, war, Berto Willie, when when Ortiz beats Berto, there was a lot of insiders that wanted to see the Berto Mayweather fight, and we all know that fight never happened because of Al Heyman. He owned both of them. It was young in his career. And he didn't want to put those guys together. So when Ortiz beat him in the fashion that he did, it kind of, uh, you know, shot him up the rankings uh, very, very fast, uh, especially with the diehards as being an exciting fighter. Gil, you know, he has three losses. He just got annihilated by Triple G. Willie, you know, I know you love Miguel Cotto, but realistically, Lee's not far from the truth when he says Miguel's on the backside of his career. Yeah, we, his last two title fights, he's won because of knee injuries more than uh, because of Miguel Cotto. And and so going into Saturday night, I don't know what to really expect um, from Miguel, but but I I have a feeling that if if Gil does come out and pull off the, this upset, you're gonna hear a lot of. By the way, it's not an upset. Thinking that Cotto was shot, anyways. Yeah, it, I wouldn't see it as an upset either. Yeah, it wouldn't because you know what? Who? Because you know what? A lot of people are giving a lot of credit for Miguel Cotto for you know for winning the lineal middleweight title. But if he loses, people are still going to throw Miguel Cotto under the bus, saying he fought a guy with no legs, pretty much. I mean, Martinez should have went in there in a wheelchair. He's finally fighting a legit middleweight and got his ass kicked. You know yeah. what I mean? But yeah. I mean that that right there alone. I mean that that'll put Gill on a pedestal. He'll be flying high. He'll be flying high, and I could just see. Mayweather do it. Like I say, he's done it before. He did it with Ortiz. He did it with Baldemir. Yeah, but I'm you're 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 talking about Floyd jumping two weight divisions. I know Floyd fought at the junior middleweight division. They're fighting at 157 this Saturday. Floyd, what was the head? Floyd has fought in that 154. I'm sure. I'm sure 157. Three pounds is a lot though, Willie. Especially especially because Floyd is not the biggest junior middleweight. Yeah, in the but world. the skill level we're talking about, it's not like he's fighting Triple G. Okay, the one thing that keeps look the one thing that keeps Mayweather from pulling the trigger on the Triple G fight 
is the fact that he'd be fighting a legitimate middleweight who would legitimately go in there to legitimately put him into a corner and legitimately beat the shit out of him, who can legitimately take a punch, who would legitimately find Mayweather, and would it wouldn't be a one punch, okay? It would be a long evening of getting punched. Do I think that Floyd would still beat him with boxing skill? Probably, okay? Probably. Would Floyd get fucked up in the process? No doubt in my mind. It'd be the worst beating of his career. And at yeah, this point, he's all about getting paid, okay? He can barely, he can barely keep lightweights off of him, you guys. I don't know if he can keep a junior, uh, middleweight. Full right, so middleweight if you've got one more him. fight left in you, plus another Manny Pacquiao fight at the brand new Access Center, okay? You're Koto, gonna you're gonna take Koto you're gonna take an easy fight. Because Cotto made a lot more sense because Cotto is not a true middleweight. Uh, Daniel Gill it brings a little bit. Yeah, He's but... bigger than Floyd, um, physically, height wise. I mean, I don't I don't know. That it'd hey, be hey. it'd be I would Koto. think Floyd if Floyd doesn't go with Khan, I think he goes with the rematch. I I don't know if if the middleweight divisions for him as yet will yet I, I well, still right. believe well you're well you're right well guess what have a little catch weight have a belt and sit there yeah and, but what if and, he loses what if he loses be, just because he went too high I, I you know Daniel Gale could be a super middleweight maybe even a light heavyweight I don't uh, think don't think that way uh, you, don't, know, don't think uh, you know so literally would it surprise anybody if out of the blue he pulled Kel Brooks out of his ass and went the route of unification no. yeah I mean I, I really see him sticking at welterweight until why not just time. unify and it and if that's the case then then be the band Floyd go go unify the title at welterweight and quote unquote end your career that way and then have it they uh, have HBO offer him some ridiculous money. A money, so right, for the undisputed welterweight championship, right? He's the man who beat the man. He's 50-0. and 0. Now you've got a two-armed Pacquiao who miraculously not in six months is healthy in six weeks. Blah, blah, blah. Story writes itself. It's like pro wrestling, right? I'm just saying. That's all I'm saying. Floyd is a little opportunist. If he sees Miguel Cotto... Floyd shot, isn't an opportunist. He's yeah, a straight-up whore. No, he needs hey, to clean the protein off his lips from yeah. blowing people to get the fights right he gets. Now. The winner of Saturday night will fight Floyd Mayweather. Oh, it, it, here we go. <laughs> it, cannot, it cannot be Amir Khan. There's no way. Floyd well, there May is a way, Will. Hey, no, no, but listen. Floyd Mayweather Jr. says this, uh, this fight, he wants to go out with the bang on his 49th fight. I, I, I believe... Amir Khan is not a bang, it's a bust. And, and 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 we've had this conversation before, Andrew. It's like, how much money is Floyd Mayweather Jr. going to demand? You know what I mean? Yeah, just but wait, hey, Will, you have fight. you have that wrong. When when Floyd said he wanted to end with the bang, bro, he's talking about doing a concert. He wants a comedy show. He he wants that he when he, he wants a party. For his final fight. That's what Floyd meant when he said, I want to end. Yeah, that'll man. be after the Pacquiao fight. Yeah, well, this will be it, his, his final fight under Showtime. I yeah, know, that I get. Retired. And and the uh, question is, uh, in my mind, it's either Thurman or Brooks. Look, this this is way, way more appealing uh, to fans, knowing the fact that Mayweather would be getting a middleweight title going up to that division to try to get a title. Not fighting Amir Khan, no matter who it is. How about this one, you guys? Does Daniel, does Gil versus Cotto get more views than Khan did on free television? Yes. Yeah, easy, right? That's an easy, easy answer. Yet yeah, Al Heyman saving boxing. I know. No, but no. Hey, but that alone. But you just saying that alone. This fight will be watched. Let me guess. What? Maybe five hundred more thousand. You think another two? You think two million? All right. All right. Oh, oh, hold on. Everybody, okay. just calm, calm down here for a second. Let's really discuss what Al Heyman's doing. He's, but except for the prime time spots on Spike and the other people that are looking for a program. When you buy time on NBC or CBS in the middle of the day on a Saturday, you're competing with Ron Popeil and George Foreman's grill. Okay, that's the slots he's buying. So he's paying whatever network time is for what would be infomercials anyway. It's not like he's replacing the PGA Tour or even the the Mountain Dew Extreme Championship off-road gigaboarding whatever 18-year-old crazy shit they put on as filler. He's replacing 
you know, the, the kitchen ninja with boxing. So if he gets anybody to watch it, it's a win. He's getting it paid for by some of these stupid.